Hey kids, welcome to lesson 14, building an app, image scroller, play sounds with keys. You may have noticed from the last couple of levels that the value of event.key is just a string, which is a name of the key. As a result, we can check which key was pressed with a simple conditional statement. For example, to check for the press of an A key, we would write if event key equal equal A, or if event.key equal A. Hmm, pretty interesting there. We have a do this. The starter code provided plays a sound whenever any key is pressed. Use console.log to find out the value of event.key when the up arrow is pressed. Add an if statement so the sound only plays when the up arrow is pressed. Hmm. Let's take a look at our code here. On the event screen one, there is a key down, we are gonna play a sound, and the sound is from code.org site. We have a console.log statement that says key is, and then the key event.key, and that'll just display the key that is being pressed. Let's run and see if that's actually what happens. Run, the up arrow. Mm -hmm. Seems like the sound plays no matter which arrow I press. Looks like it does play sound on any key. Hmm. What we want to do here, though, is we want to add an if statement so the sound only plays when the up arrow is pressed. How are we going to do that? I know I'm going to need it in my event handler here. Where do I want it? If the up arrow is pressed, then we want it to play a sound. I think it's going to go in between the on event and the play sound lines, or between line one and two. What am I going to add here? Well, our if statement. And what? If event key is going to equal up, since this is an if statement, I'm going to need a brace after it. And I'm going to need a brace between play sound and console.log. All those braces do is just encapsulate what we want to do. So if the event key equals up, then we're going to play the sound. Hopefully, that's what's going to happen. How do we know which key is going to be pressed? Well, the event.key here logs the keystrokes. When up comes up and it equals up, then it should play the sound. Let's see if that's what happens. Run, down, nothing's playing, left, nothing's playing, right, nothing's playing. Here's the moment of truth, up. Hmm, nothing's happening. Why is that? Let's take a look at our ups here. We have key is up with an uppercase U, and in mine, it's both lowercase. Let's make these match each other. Delete the U, uppercase U. Now, when I hit reset, run. Down, nothing. Left, nothing. Right, nothing. We should get a sound on up. Awesome. Looks like it is now working the way we want to. Looking back up here on our do this, we use console.log to find out the value of event key when the up arrow is pressed. What is that? That is up with an uppercase U. We added an if statement so the sound only plays when the up arrow is pressed. We did an if statement in between our on event and play sound. If the event key is up, spelled exactly the same way as our console.log statement, then I want you to play a sound. I think that's all we had to do for this lesson. Let's see if code.org wants anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.